Welcome to another MP4Nation.net video and review. Today I'm going to demonstrate the new Chewy P7L Touch uh, media player. Uh, here it is. Uh, it does use a new Telechips processor. Uh, one of the nice things is it does have a built-in HDMI port out here, which is very good considering this player can support 1080p video playback and video out. It also has a USB port, a micro SD slot for additional memory, uh, its earphone socket, and a power charging unit, uh, power charging so socket. It has a 4.3 inch touchscreen with a 480 by 272 resolution screen. Overall, the player is quite slim. Uh, as you can see, that's the on off and hold button, and that's the IR port for use with the remote. Uh, the body build is pretty plasticky. I mean, to be honest, the Telechips processor is a very powerful processor, and players that are using this are rather expensive. However, the P7L is rather cheap in comparison. So, you know, Chewy has cut corners somewhere, so aesthetically, this may not be the best player that you'll see that's using that processor. However, it is probably uh, the most bang for your buck, basically. Anyway, just turn it on up here. Going. Uh, overall, the screen is alright. It has alright viewing angles from the sides, but it has poor viewing angles from the bottom. Uh, it's best viewed from directly in front. See, it's nice and bright. However, it is only a 480 by 272 resolution screen, which, you know, six months ago, eight months ago, was perfectly fine. But these days, we're kind of used to seeing the 800 by 480 resolution screens. However, on this, you see, it's perfectly acceptable especially considering the price. Uh, it has all these standard features, music, video, photo, ebook, appendix, uh, which is actually, uh, I believe, a dictionary. Either way, all the features except for the video are completely and totally useless. I get, at least that's how I feel. Uh, you should really buy this only for the video playback. It is a video powerhouse. The Telechips processor can play just about any file I've thrown at it, including Blu-ray rips with DTS tracks. Uh, the beautiful thing is that you can actually use the TV out uh, and it connects up and it works like a high definition media, media box. So, uh, you know, it's a two in one device. So it's not just your normal TV out. It's actually when connected to your TV, it has a separate user interface and works just like uh, many HD media, media player boxes that you can buy standalone for your TV. Go. Uh, the touchscreen, I would say, out of 10 for responsiveness, is about 4 or 5. I really wouldn't, uh, you know, say the touchscreen is great. But then again, you know, this is a budget player, and for it, you're going to have to, you know, sacrifice on some stuff. Uh, it does have auto-scrolling, but it's not the best implemented. And see. But again, I w would strongly not recommend you buying this for a music player. So, although not well implemented, frankly speaking, don't buy this for the music playback. Not because it sounds bad. It has a Wolfson Audio DAC, so it actually sounds very good. But it has no equalizer. It doesn't even sort by MP3, so, uh, sort by ID3, sorry. Uh, so, if you have a lot of music and it's not properly sorted by folders, it's going to be very frustrating. Uh, it doesn't have a built-in speaker, so you can't really hear any audio. Uh, very simple user interface. It does read the ID3 tags here, but nowhere else. At least not not right now in the current firmware that's on this player. The only option it has is for normal repeat and repeat all. That's it. Uh, if you don't, if you like the sound of this player without the use of equalizer, which some of you may then uh, I guess this would be just a good player to just load up your songs and you know hit shuffle or if you have everything sorted by folder and usually play by folder then this will be satisfactory to your needs uh, but again I frankly could not recommend this as an audio player but there is a nice little widget here you can see and it shows what song is currently playing it's nice but uh... I mean, you know, change the song but not exactly the most useful feature you can also bring up the volume right here volume control but uh, let me just quickly show you the picture. Let's see. Thumbnails it. You can scroll if you have more. Boo boo. Nothing too great. You can rotate it. And you zoom. And actually, I'm going to just go straight to the video player now. Oh, uh, yeah. On audio, it plays WMA MP3 FLAC uh, OGG. 
uh, audio files um, on video it plays just about everything you can imagine TS move AVI MP4 MKV VOB <laughs> FLV uh, I mean honestly you can go to the product page and you can just see the vast amount of video file formats I can play and it just doesn't open them it actually plays them at full 30 frames per second uh, and this is these are videos that could be at 1080p 720p resolution so I mean I got you know DTS rips I mean I got blu-ray rips here uh, with DTS audio tracks that play perfectly fine so you know, it's pretty good quality now let me just show you up oh, as this doesn't have a speaker I'm just gonna hook up my handy dandy Fio walk box on this just so that you can hear that the audio is in sync when this does play uh, Star Trek. Uh, that's a bit of a downside. It does take a little longer for videos to load up, but then again, a lot of videos here are very large in size. It does support OTG, so you can connect an external hard drive and it will play videos off your external hard drive or external memory, any other external memory devices. And this video here has DTS audio track and it's playing perfectly fine. And again, see the viewing angles aren't the best. Sides, not that bad. Top. And again, on TV out, this will output it on 1080p, just like Blu-ray. And the quality is really good. And this is a 1280 by 720 resolution AVI file. Welcome to a whole new world where Samsung LED technology brings you sharper images. An MKV file. Uh, this MKV file is also in 720p. And let me see what else I have here. Move file, MOV file. These are Chewy sample files, and I don't remember what they were. I do know that the TS file on this is about 500 megabytes, and it's only about a minute long. So that's a very high resolution file, and it plays back perfectly fine on this. Oh. In this secret lab. I actually had a friend that worked on this movie. <laughs> the world's top scientist. And I just want to just quickly show this and then one other file. And it plays perfectly. And it does play MP4 and it does support subtitles also. Uh, it does support subtitles on the TV out also. So just keep that, just informing you about that. Uh, this is an MP4 file. Very high resolution also. As you can see, the player really plays videos very well. And you can also just fast forward. And this file is about three gigabytes. And it plays perfectly fine. 
Uh, I'm just going to stop it here. Uh, the Chewy P7L is a very good player for video playback. So I'd strongly recommend this for video playback only. Uh, head, over on, head on over to mp4nation.net to check this out or head on over to our forums to discuss this. Thank you.